Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This time we're doing another recent pickups video. I got games, movies, CDs, a little bit of everything in here. Um, even some stuff that's not uh, physical media itself. But um, that I thought I would just show since I got it. So um, actually, maybe we'll start off with those two items. So the first thing I acquired, and I got this at Target, it was on clearance. A WandaVision, 1950s WandaVision Funko set. You can see the, the light there. But, um, kind of a cool little thing. It was actually on clearance for $3. Um, I think, the, I think it was normally 15 So I was like, why not? I don't, I don't like taking things out of the box, but I feel like there's so much extra packaging around this that is not needed. Because it's just this little thing in the middle that I'm like, I'm tempted to take it out of the box, but... The collector in me is like, no, don't do it. I'm not sure yet. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, I'm doing a new background, whatever. I don't know if I'll continue to film videos in this spot, but it kind of just worked out that way for this video. Um, and then, uh, one of my favorite shows, I was at Goodwill and I've seen this. This is based on one of my favorite shows. 24, the DVD board game. Um, I do pick up stuff, I do pick up stuff like this and this from time to time. I don't always show them in recent pickups just because I don't really... My my child is uh, making a ruckus. Um, but yeah, and I tend to not buy these type of things anymore just because they're usually outdated. Like TV and movie type um, board games or trivia things. Um, but this one is specific to the show itself. So I mean it can't really be outdated because I'm pretty sure it came out after the show ended. Oh, I'm wrong. It came out 2006. So actually, this is kind of outdated. But either way, I feel like it'll still be a fun thing. And it's kind of like a nice collector's thing to have, even though it is kind of big. Anyways, enough rambling on that. Let's move on. Um, start off with this. Um, Just Cause 3. I always see this at GameStop really cheap. Um, I think Just Cause 4 I have on PS Plus. Maybe 3. I'm not 100% sure. But I was here for like five bucks at GameStop, so I decided to finally pick it up. I have played it, albeit very briefly. I think maybe like an hour. I think I screwed around in the fourth one, kind of just GTA style, where you just kind of drive around and do random crap. Um, but in terms of the story, I have not played any of these really um, for story. But um, the reason I bought it is because I do. I think I do want to maybe get into three and then try four, um, doing the actual story. So yeah, and I have two on Steam, actually, so I might try that one out as well. I don't think I've ever actually played two. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, we got a movie here, Gone in 60 Seconds. Um, I actually just had a really, I had a, had a big urge to watch this, um, and I looked it up, it was like five bucks on Amazon, or six bucks, so I was like, alright, I'll pick it up. Um, so yeah, that's why I have this. I used to watch this a lot as a kid, it was one of my favorite movies as a kid. I had not seen it in probably at least five, I actually I'd probably say more like ten years, but I am a big Nicolas Cage fan, so we'll see how it goes. Then another game here, this was eight ninety nine. I don't know if you can see that, at GameStop. Um, this is actually the Xbox version, which I don't really play on Xbox. I do have an Xbox, but I don't, I don't, it's not my main system. But I mainly got it just because I like the Steelbook. Um, Black Ops 4 is an interesting one. Um, I... I usually I used to buy all the Call of Duties as they were coming out, but by this point I had stopped doing that. So I rented this one, I think, at Family Video. I think I rented it for five days. Um, and then I played the... Because this one didn't have a campaign. Um, but it had like the Blackout mode, which is the Battle Royale, which is kind of the predecessor to Warzone. Um, but yeah, I just planned to play it for those five days. I was like, yeah, that was fun. Um, another Call of Duty. You know, it wasn't really necessarily amazing. It wasn't bad. It was just kind of... Yeah, that was fun. It was okay. Um, but then they gave it free on PS Plus, and that kind of just made... Um, it was a few years after this came out. I think this was probably two or three years ago. I forget when this, forget when this one came out, but it was yeah, maybe a year, two years ago. It came out on free on PS Plus, and I downloaded it, started playing it. I actually had a lot of fun with it. I actually played it for, probably put another, like, 10 to 15 hours into the multiplayer, um, which is rare for me to do nowadays, especially for Call of Duty. And I had a lot of fun. I kind of lost, uh, I kind of lost steam for me a little bit, but I mean, hey. Next up, we have... The Ninth Gate. Um, let me know if you like this kind of... I use, I, I think in previous videos I separated the games, movies, and CDs. Um, let me know if you like them separated, or if you like me just all jumbled together and kind of just 
well, here's a game, here's a movie, here's a CD, whatever. Um, the Ninth Gate. So the whole Amber Heard, Johnny Depp trial is going on, and it just really made me want to watch some Johnny Depp movies. And I remember this one, um, thinking this was pretty good back in the day. This is another movie I watched as a kid, which is, looking back, it's kind of a weird movie to watch a lot as a kid. But I remember watching it, well, not a kid, I was probably like, you know, 12, 13, something like that. I remember liking this one quite a bit. Um, I have not seen it, again, since around that time. But, um, I seen it for pretty cheap, so I decided to pick it up. Um, and then we have, here, I'll do uh, some CDs next. So we have this, I picked this up for, I definitely didn't pay $4.99, I can't remember how much I paid for this, I think it was a dollar, um, I think this is at some thrift store, I can't remember. Um, Duran Duran, thank you. I used to listen to a lot of Duran Duran, um, I had like a Duran Duran period for like a year or two, and then I kind of just never listened to them. But I seen this and I was like, oh yeah, Duran Duran, I forgot about them, I used to listen to them a lot. So I decided to pick this up. I'm not too familiar with this specific one. Um, I think I listened to some of their newer newer CDs. Basically their hits, and then um, I think a couple of the CDs that were out at the time. I listened to like their most recent ones, and, and, and thought they were pretty good. But I, I don't think I've listened to this specific album. But I mean, I know all their hits, so there's probably some hits on there I didn't. I for, um, I'm not going to do that right now. This is another one I picked up. Steve Perry, Greatest Hits. Oh yeah, I remember this specifically. This was at the Goodwill. Um, all their CDs are a dollar, and it was still sealed, so I was like, okay, I don't have this, Steve Perry, Greatest Hits. Um, I am a fan of Journey. I'm actually a fan of all the singers of Journey, to be honest. Um, well, I haven't really heard too much of the original singer, um, but in terms of Steve Perry, and then, uh, the ones after him. But I don't think I've heard too much of his solo stuff. I listened to his new one when it came out, but other than that, I haven't heard too much. I know my dad really liked Oh Sherry, um, but yeah, other than that, I'm not really sure. Um... Another CD here is Three Days Grace Explosions. I'm a big, big fan of Three Days Grace. Um, but uh, this one, I still don't know how I feel about it. I've heard it probably two or three times all the way through. And then I've heard uh, some of the songs on it multiple times. There's definitely some some songs I really, really like on here. Um, most of the singles, if not all of them, I thought were good to great. Um, it's mainly just, I think the first half of the album's really good. The second half kind of is a big step down. I still enjoy the album overall. Like, I don't usually give ratings, but, like, uh, this isn't, like, set in stone. But if I had to give a rating right now, it'd probably be, like, a 7.5 out of 10. So, you know, not not terrible, not bad, even. Like, above average, but I don't know. I don't even know if I like it more than uh, Matt, Matt's other albums with Three Days Race. I, d I still definitely prefer all of Adam's albums over any of Matt's albums, but... I mean, I still like him as a vocalist, because I like My Darkest Days, but yeah. Uh, next up is, we'll actually move away and do a few more DVDs. So I went to FYE, I'll just show you the three I got at FYE. So I went to FYE, um, they have the, like, clearance section, which is, like, everything 75% off, so whatever the price says here, I can't remember what it came out to, but basically 75% off whatever it says on here, which I picked up three movies there, and a CD, I'll show you the CD after these three movies. Um, we got... This double feature, which was $6.99, but 75% off, so whatever that comes to. Uh, Convict Cowboy with John Voight, and The Defiant Ones um, with Robert Urich, who I don't know, and Carl Weathers, who I do know. Um, kind of, I've never heard of either of these movies, but something just drew me to... Oh, I, oh yeah, Kyle Chandler is in this one, who I love from uh, Friday Night Lights. He's also been in some movies and other shows I've seen, but... Yeah, thought I would give it a shot. And then we have these two, which these were both $4.88 a piece, but, you know, you take 75% off that, probably like a dollar or something like that, um, which is In the Eyes of a Stranger and A Kiss something. <laughs> a Kiss Deadly? A Kiss So Deadly? I'm not sure. Um, but just two movies that looked somewhat interesting to me, just figured I'd give them a shot. Um, don't know anything about them. So, yeah. Also, it's weird, because Justine Bateman, isn't that Jason Bateman's sister? I could be wrong. And then Dee Dee Pfeiffer, isn't that, uh, she related to Michelle Pfeiffer? I don't know. Anywho, those two. Um, and then last but not least, I picked up this CD there. This wasn't on clearance, it was just on sale for $3.99, but it was sealed. It's an FYE exclusive, um, limited edition CD DVD package. I'm not a huge fan of Johnny Pool. Well, not that I'm not a huge fan, I just haven't heard much of their music, but I figured this might be a kind of a, a, n a nice introduction. I never li I've never listened to one of their whole albums before. Um, but I generally like the songs that I've heard of them. I know they 
had, I think their first singer only had, what, one album? I don't know. I don't know much about them. I don't want to uh, start talking about stuff I don't know much about. Um, so then we'll do um, another movie here, A Walk to Remember. Um, for some reason, I've seen a trailer for this on YouTube for some reason. I don't know why. And um, I just made me want to watch it. And I like Mandy more from This Is Us. And uh, so, yeah. I figured I would give it a shot. I bought it on eBay. It was like three bucks or something. So yeah. Um, and then next up we have some video games that I bought off eBay. I don't remember what I spent on these, but we got Backyard Football. I think I got it for like four or five bucks. Um, kind of just to add to the GameCube collection. I'm trying to beef that up. Uh, yeah. So it is complete, which is nice. So yeah, I don't really know much about this. This is not one of the ones I played back in the day, but it looks kind of fun. It looks maybe for like a little bit more for kids, but we'll give it a shot. Call of Duty Finest Hour. Don't really have much to say about that. It's a Call of Duty game. And then Pitfall The Lost Expedition, which um, I haven't really played too much Pitfall, like original Pitfall. But um, I've seen this for, I think I won it for, like I said, probably this was probably like four or five bucks. Don't know if it's really worth much more than that. But I figured I'd add it to the PS2 collection. Um, let's do some more movies. So actually, these ones I actually just picked up today at the Goodwill. Um, these were two bucks a piece. So I got Mulan Legendary Warrior. Um, I don't know much about this. It's like a live-action Mulan movie. Um, it's got J.C. Chan, which is son of Marshall, uh, son of Jackie Chan. But yeah, don't know much about that. Alice Through the Looking Glass. Um, I've seen this once around when it came out. Oh, geez, that's really... I've seen this once when it came out. I don't remember barely anything about it. Except, I think Sasha Baron Cohen is the time guy. That's pretty much all I remember. Um, oh, and does he, like, go through, through like, the past or something? I don't remember at all. Um, I remember thinking it was okay, but for two bucks, it's a Disney Blu-ray. Figured, pick it up. Uh, and then we had... This was also two bucks, $1.99. Legend of Tarzan on 4K. I do own this on blue or uh, DVD actually, but for two bucks I figured I'd upgrade to 4K. I, I've yet to watch it, but I do like Alexander Skarsgård and everything I've seen him in. Um, actually, to be honest, I think I've only seen him in True Blood, but um, he was pretty great in that. Even though the show kind of, well, the, the the first like half of the show, I feel like once you hit like season four or five, I think five is when it started going down, and then six was. Not the not great, and then um, I don't even know if I even finished seven. I think seven was was kind of bad, but yeah. Legend of Tarzan on 4K. Then I also picked this up, dollar ninety nine at Goodwill. The Cave. Um, I've heard great things about this, but I've never seen it. Um, I just kind of see. I don't usually really buy DVDs anymore unless they're cheap. I do say that, but then I every time I go to Dollar Tree, I pick up a bunch, even though I keep telling myself not to. But um, yeah, the Cave which I'm, I'm definitely going to stop buying too many DVDs because I just have too many. Um, Alright, and then we'll do a few games here. So I actually won these in an eBay lot. I don't remember how much I paid. I mainly bought the lot for this this specific game, the Metal Gear Solid HD Collection. Um, complete, which is nice. Has Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid 3, and Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. I've never, I want to play through the Metal Gear Solid games, which I will be doing at some point. Um, I'll probably do, be doing it on the gaming channel. Um, I just gotta figure out what the best way to play the first one is. Because I've been trying to find out where to buy it or where to get it. And the PS1 copy is a little bit more than what I want to pay right now. Um, I actually haven't checked. It might be in the PS Store, like the PS3 Store. But who knows. And they're doing the new PS Plus, PS1 games. Maybe it'll come on, out of, come on that eventually. But yeah, um, I played two a little bit back in the day. Um, all I remember is being on a boat. That's pretty much all I remember. Um... I know for sure I haven't played 3 or Peace Walker, and I definitely haven't played the first one. Um, I think I watched a bit of 4, maybe, and I know I watched a little bit of 5. Actually, I don't think I watched 5. I think I watched the prequel or, like, the little mini-game that came out before. Uh, Ground Zero, so that's what it was. I remember there being some controversy over that. Um, but, yeah. Then also in that lot, Sniper 2. Um, I've played the zombie version. What is it? Sniper Army something... Um, I played this, the, which I think is part of the same thing, right? Um, but in terms of these games, I never played them. I think I downloaded Sniper Elite 3 once, and I played for like 10 minutes. But other than that, I don't really have much experience. They do look kind of fun, though. I, I kind of I kind of want to uh, 
maybe give that a shot or one of the other ones. And then also in that was Army of Two, The Devil's Cartel, um, which I don't really know much about. And then also there was a disc-only game, uh, Demon Souls on PS3. So that was disc-only, but I already filed that away in my disc-only section of whatever. Um, alrighty, so let's get back to the movies. Um, so this is bit okay, here's a little mini Dollar Tree haul for you. Um, I picked up four movies at Dollar Tree I went to. Um, so we'll just show those. Scarred. Don't know anything about these, so I'm just going to show them. Strange Nature. Death Day. And The Sonata. This one looks actually looks pretty interesting. I mean, they all looked interesting, otherwise I wouldn't have bought them. Oh no, I dropped it. Let me just grab that. So yeah, I um, got those at Dollar Tree. Alright, two CDs, I'll just show real quick. Um, I believe I got these at a Goodwill, Salvation Army, something. They were a buck a piece. Richard Marks and Headley. I'm going to try not to talk about these too much because this video is going to be long enough. Um, a Switch game, Shadowverse Champions Battle. Um, I watched a review of this. Well, I think I seen it at GameStop for like 20 bucks. I was like, oh, what is that? It looks kind of looks kind of cool. I watched a review of it. Um, it, it looked good. Picked it up. I think it, I think I got this. Actually, I bought this one on Amazon. Maybe I can't remember. But uh, it was I think it was like around twenty bucks. Um, yeah, still sealed. But definitely didn't want to give a shot. It's like a card game. Yeah, I'm not gonna get into all that. Um, and I think everything that's left are oh no, there's still some games. There's some games and movies mixed in here. Um, we have the oh I got these at a garage sale. These are actually separated. So I got these three movies at a garage sale. Um, I think it was f like five bucks for all three. I can't remember. Captain Marvel on 4K. Not my favorite MCU movie, but it came out to like, you know, a buck something, probably. Um, Crank 2 High Voltage, still sealed. The Purge Election Year on DVD. Um, I actually remember liking this one. I've, I haven't seen... What's the fourth one? The first... Purge. There's only four, right? I haven't seen that one yet, and I haven't seen the TV show yet, but I like all three that I've seen, um, so yeah. Um, I picked this up, I think it was like th like three ninety nine or something on Amazon, that's the main reason why I picked it up, AVP Double Feature, because I'm pretty sure I own both of these on DVD. I think I actually own them disc only on DVD, but still. Um, but yeah, I have all the Alien movies on Blu-ray now, except for Alien Covenant. I... I'm pretty sure I have Prometheus on Blu-ray. Maybe I don't. I'm not sure. But I've never seen any of them. So I'm thinking about reacting to these um, either on the Reaction channel. Or I might post like the watch-alongs on this channel. I'm not sure yet how I'm going to start doing that. I want to start reacting to more movies, though. Um, Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2. Um, Doctor Strange 2 just came out like a couple weeks ago or a week, week or two ago. I still haven't seen it, but it made me want to watch some more Sam Raimi movies because I kept hearing a lot of stuff about Sam Raimi and I haven't seen... Any of the Evil Dead movies. So yeah, I bought that one. I've heard, um, just, I looked at some quick reviews. The transfer, apparently, on the Evil Dead Blu-ray isn't the greatest. But this was, like, seven or eight bucks for both of them. Compared to, um, it was, like, fifteen bucks for, like, just the first one on Blu-ray. Um, with apparently the good transfer. I don't know. Um, okay, we got some PS4 games here. Puyo, Puyo Tetris 2, which I own the first one. Um, from what I played, it was pretty fun. I am a fan of these, like, Tetris, Puyo Puyo style games. Um, yeah. So I think that was ten bucks. It says new. It's not really, it's one of those things where they get, oh, there's a little insert. You rarely see inserts anymore in, on new games. Oh, it's, it's got a code on the back, that's why. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, just, um, yeah, the, it says new. It's hit or miss whether you get a sealed copy. Usually, I usually ask for a sealed copy, and they'll give you one. Um, but because if you don't ask, they'll usually, more times than not, give you the, the open copy or whatever. But I, um, I just didn't ask that time, and that's what they gave me. I don't really care too much. I was going to open it anyways. The disc, PS4 games are Blu-ray discs, so they're pretty much mint 99% of the time. I picked up this, Mickey Storm and the Cursed Mask. I think this was 10, 10 or 15, I think it was, no, I think it was 10. Maybe it was 15 but I use my $5 off um, every month. If you're a pro member at GameStop, you get $5 off. 
So I used that to get that. So it was either five or ten with my five dollars off. Astro Near. I've heard good things about this. I mainly bought it because I heard it was cross play um, with PC and PS4, and one of my friends um, pretty much only plays on PC right now. So I bought this to play with him. Um, then we have a Wii game, Alien Syndrome. I got this at a local game shop for four bucks. It's got a not original case, obviously. At least I don't think it's an original case. I've never seen a black Wii case. Um, yeah, complete. Don't know much about it. It looks like it might be fun. Um, I am a fan of just getting random Wii games and trying them out. Usually if they're not fun, or usually even if they're bad, they're still kind of fun. Because there is a ton of shuffleware, though. Alrighty. And then we got, I believe these are also Dollar Tree movies. Conversations with other women. Don't know much about it. And... Close Rain. Also don't know much about that one. Oh, this is another Dollar Tree one. Original Sin. Um, I like Antonio Banderas. I, he did a lot of those movies in the 90s, like these kind of like romantic thriller, suspense, what do you want, if you want to call them. Because I watched um, Never Talk to Strangers or something with strangers with him in it. It was actually pretty good. But I have not seen that one. Also, uh, what's her name? An Angela Jolie, I think, maybe. And then this I got it. Oh, this I got at that shop that I bought the Alien Syndrome Wii game at. Um, I think it was like two bucks because they also sell DVDs there. It's a four pack of horror movies, Wages of Sin, which I think I have on like one of those fifteen movie packs I bought at Kmart like ten years ago. Um, Skeleton Man, Live Animals, and Roman. This one interested me because it has uh, Kristen Bell, um, and I also the Skeleton Man has Michael Rooker and Casper Van Dien, which. The name sounds... I, I know who Michael Rooker is. Casper Van Dien sounds really familiar. Um, and I've seen... I'm pretty sure I've seen this Live Animals cover a lot. I don't know... Um, John Still, Christian Wong... I don't know anyone in it, but... Yeah. Anywho. It's on like a double-sided... Double-sided disc. But yeah, that is the last movie. So that was a pretty big recent pickups. I kind of, they've been... I've been uh, it's been piling up, so I wanted to get this video done... But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know if there's anything in here I should play, anything in here I should watch, um, what you guys think about it. If you want to like the video, subscribe. Uh, I'm definitely going to be pumping out lots more of this content. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.